11.4, AA similarity of triangles, geometry. The essential question, how can you show two triangles are similar? <clears throat> the answer is you use the AA, SSS, or SAS similarity criteria to prove that triangles are similar. Um, basically, just as a short version, the AA implies that you have, well, in this case, a triangle. We go under some kind of dilation or transformation you get a bigger triangle, okay? AA just says <clears throat> that <clears throat> if this angle is the same as this angle and you have another angle that is congruent to this angle, so you have two congruent angles, okay, of your image and pre-image, then therefore they are similar, okay? Um, SS just says that uh, if this side is proportional to this side, and this side is proportional to this side, and this side is proportional to that side, then they are also similar, okay? As for SAS, you already know, if you have two angles and a side in the middle, okay, or two sides and one angle, so you have side, angle, side, then you could prove they're similar as well. And we'll get to the examples right now. So first off, first theorem, angle, angle, triangle similarity theorems. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. So here's the basic proof. Okay, make sure you write this down. Um, <clears throat> you have, let's see, two angles that are congruent. Let me just use the highlighter. We'll use green since it pops out like firecrackers. Um, basically, you have this image, triangle ABC. Okay, and we're proving that it's congruent to triangle XYZ, the bigger triangle. So if you're told that angle A is congruent to angle X and that angle B is congruent to angle Y, what happens in this example is we do a dilation, okay, by a scale factor. And if you remember scale factors, okay, you're going to remember that scale factors apply to every uh, dimension of that object. So every every side is going to go through this dilation. Okay, so when you do the scale factor, you're going to realize that xy, okay, is in um, in sense of proportionality proportional to AB. Okay, and that's also an orientation. Okay, so and they, they do this thing where first you dilate the object, and I'll, I'll go ahead and draw the mapping. First, you have your object, you go under some dilation, and then we're just comparing it to this other um, shape that's labeled differently, but their angles are the same, okay? If you want just the simplest of terms, from here to here, obviously went through a di dilation. Two angles are the same, therefore they have to be similar. Okay, always. And the reason is simple, because um, the triangle sum theorem, okay, all three angles have to add up, okay, so angle A plus angle B plus angle C have to equal 180. Okay, they have to. And just because of that, um, you could already surmise that, well, if those two angles are the same, then your third angle has to be congruent to the other third angle, okay? So if all the angles are the same, if just two of them actually, that's what's nice. If two of them are similar, you're good. Then they are similar. All right, so example one. Uh, we're going to check if angle or triangle RSV is similar to RTU. 
triangle, or TU. Um, so we're going to go ahead and say that angle, um, angle RSV, and that would be this angle right here, okay, RSV is congruent to triangle or angle T, okay, um, because they share the same triangle, the bigger triangle, that is. Therefore, um, angle R is congruent to angle R by the reflexive property. And simplest of terms, angle R is being shared by both the smaller triangle and the bigger triangle. And that's the reflexive property. Now that we have two congruent angles, um, we may state by the AA triangle similarity theorem that triangle RSV is similar to triangle RTU. And there's just the application of the AA triangle similarity theorem. Now that we know our sides um, must be proportional in order to be similar, because that's the definition of similarity, the sides have to be proportional, okay, and the angles have to be congruent. Um, we may solve for RT. So in your homework, you're going to come across this. So if you know your proportionality and sense of orientation, RT, let me pick a, uh, ooh, okay, let's see. All right, so RT, this bigger guy, is proportional to RS. Okay? And that's what we write on the left. And that equals to another side for um, proportionality. So TU is proportional to SV. So if you set it up right, you should get this kind of math when you substitute. Um, you can cross multiply, do the whole butterfly thing like we did in eighth grade. That was good times. Or you can be a pro and just, like a boss, multiply both the left hand and right hand side by 10. And you'll get 10 times 12, that's 120. 120 divided by 8 is 15. And 10 divided by 10 is just 1, so you have RT or 1, or just RT, and you should get RT equals 15. Now, the next theorem, side, 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 triangle, similarity theorem. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, is this like the same as side, 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 congruency theorem? Not quite, okay, because now we're talking about similarity. So instead of talking about congruency of every side, we're talking about uh, proportionality, okay? So the definition of similarity kicks in again. So if all three sides of a triangle are proportional to the corresponding sides of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. <laughs> so example two, you have this triangle, okay? It looks like an isosceles. And then we go ahead and do a transformation. Um, it looks like a, a dilation and uh, the scale factor, hopefully you know, okay, cough, cough, <clears throat> what's half of four, right? Cough, cough, what's half of two? So, all right, so let's see. AC is proportional to, or A prime, C prime is proportional to AC, okay? So again, all the sides have to be proportional. So AC, and I'm not going to use that hot red, all right, so A, A prime, C prime is right here. And originally, um, AC was 4, okay? So you have 2 divided by 4, which is 1 half. <clears throat> cough, cough, scale factor. Now, on our next side, we'll use AB, or A prime, B prime. And its original side was AB. So you were at 4, now you're at 2. All right, so notice how you basically, what do you have after and then what you had before. Okay, that's proportionality. Our third side, because there are three sides to a triangle. Um, C prime, B prime uh, used to be one, okay. And then originally it used to be uh, BC. I don't know why I put them in alphabetical order on that one. That's weird. It used to be two, okay? So as you can see, in the end, all these guys 
have the same proportion. All right. So based off all three sides, you can prove that these triangles are similar. All right, lastly, side angle side triangle similarity theorem. If two sides of a triangle are proportional to the corresponding sides of another triangle um, <clears throat> and their included angles are congruent, they bo uh, then both triangles are similar. So here's this big example, all right? <clears throat> if you do your homework, you're gonna, you're gonna laugh. Um, you're welcome. There's a picture, this figure, okay? And I can see right away, and hopefully you're able to do that as well, you notice that these two angles will be congruent because they are vertical angles. So the pass comes back to be used. So let's determine if they are similar. Uh, triangle ABC has to be similar to EDC, so we're gonna prove it. So <clears throat> angle ACB, okay, is congruent to angle ECD. And that's what I already highlighted because it's their vertical angles, okay? Um, now that we have included congruent, uh, the congruent angle, we just need two sides, right? So we have, we have our angle, okay? We just need our two sides. So instead of seeing if they're congruent, because we're not talking about congruency, we're talking about proportionality. So we have to figure out if our two sides are proportional. So if you are able to notice your uh, proportionality or your positioning, your orientation, AC, all right, is congruent, or I'm sorry, not congruent, should be in orientation proportional to CE, okay? If you do the math and you write the ratio, you're gonna get 0 0.625. Now let's double check our other two sides that were given, uh, BC and CD. So now we're taking care of our third, or our second side. So BC over CD, and you're gonna realize they have the same proportionality, okay? So since both sides are proportional and one of your angles is congruent, they're similar. Both triangles are similar. Triangle ABC is, is similar to triangle EDC. Okay, and that's by the SAS. Okay, so here's your homework, page 617 through 619, numbers 1 through 14. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Good luck.